Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. Fall is the best time to spray your lawn, so during our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about that. Well, when you think about it with your lawn, uh, if you're going to be spraying for weeds, you have some plants around there that you don't want to harm. It may be flowers, it may be trees, it may be your garden. There's always things to watch out for. The great thing about fall is the leaves are dropping off the trees, your garden is done, and your flowers are done as well. So it's a great time to get out and spray those weeds because most of the concerns that you have about any kind of drift or off-target spray application are really minimal right now. Here's one of the most important things you need to understand as well. When you spray in the fall, killing small weeds is much easier than killing big weeds. So a lot of times in the fall you say, well, my weeds have kind of died back. It's not that big a deal. I'll wait till spring. No, now is the time to get them because not only do you kill the weed now or at least burn it back pretty good, if that happens to be a perennial or biennial weed, you're also really going to injure it with winter kill. So if you damage the plant, and maybe let's say you didn't completely kill it in the fall, but you damage it enough, maybe the winter finishes it off. So this is the best time to spray, not only because, like Darren said, I'm not gonna kill my flowers or trees around me, but also because I can kill small weeds, I can damage them going into the winter. This is the best time to do it, and with products like 2,4-D, they leave some residual also. So we really want you to get out and spray your lawns right now. Well, when you think about the weeds and the grass in your yard, right now in the fall, they're storing up water, they're storing up energy so they can really accelerate their growth in the spring. If we can wipe those weeds out, we not only stop them from competing for water and nutrients right now, but we also in the spring allow our crop or our grass in this case to get ahead of all those weeds. And the best weed control possible is getting a good crop canopy. So if we've got a really nice thick lawn established and it gets up, we really aren't going to have too many weed problems after that. So getting that weed control done now may eliminate the need for weed control next year if we did a great job today. So here's what we want you to do. In most cases, we just want you to go out with the highest labeled rate of 2,4-D. Now, as soon as I say 2,4-D, some people ridiculously associate that with Agent Orange. We've been hearing about that some in the news. You may have heard about that, about the new Enlist trait that they're talking about for soybeans and everything, and oh, we don't want Agent Orange anymore. Come on, that's not Agent Orange, yes. 2,4-D was one of the components of Agent Orange. In fact, it was 50% of Agent Orange. But guess what? That wasn't the thing that caused any problems in there. In fact, the other main component, 2,4-5-T, was not a big problem either. Both of those are relatively safe to humans. You know what the problem was? And I'm telling you this just so you have ammunition to talk to other people about this when they say, oh, don't spray 2,4-D in your lawn, it's harmful. No, it's not, get real. The problem with the Agent Orange back then was the 245T used in the Agent Orange was contaminated with dioxin. Okay, had it not been contaminated, you wouldn't have seen any deaths with Agent Orange or any problems with Agent Orange. In fact, if you look at the LD50 for 2,4-D amine, it's much safer than even caffeine is. Okay, the LD50 for amine is 1,000 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. The LD50 for caffeine is 200 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. In other words, 2,4-D amine is five times as safe for you as caffeine. Now, that doesn't mean take a bath in it. We want you to use personal protective equipment and all that kind of thing, but just understand 2,4-D is not going to kill you. All right, well, the big thing is we want to control weeds. We want to do it safely for you, your children, your pets. We definitely want to let all that stuff dry before we let anything out into the yard. So what I'll do at my own house, I've got little kids, I've got a dog that, that wants to be out in the yard all the time. I'll just make a point of, you know what, the dog's going to stay in the house tonight. We're going to take him for a walk around the neighborhood instead of uh, just letting him out in our yard. And, and that's all I do. That's really my precaution. And instead of letting the kids play in the backyard, we'll go to the park that day or we'll go out camping or something else. So we're away from the yard for a few hours. We'll leave everything just as it is. There's no problem with the weeds dying or anything like that out there. That's not dangerous for anybody. So just get your yard sprayed on a day where, you know, the kids and the pets aren't necessarily going to be in the yard. The same thing we'd advise farmers that have cattle spraying their pastures. Spray the pasture, have the cattle in another part of the pasture, get your spraying done, and then 
you know, whatever, the next day or something, it's safe to let them back in. Well, once again, now is the time to spray your lawn, get it done this fall, and you should have a lot cleaner and greener lawn next spring. One of the things that you may see in your yard or in your crops is our weed of the week. I'll show you how to control it coming up later in the show.